Hello and welcome. My name is Justin Hayes and I am an Enterprise Solutions Engineer with Better Cloud. Today, I am going to give you a quick rundown of our best in class SaaS management platform. The aim of our platform is to eliminate as much of the SaaS management work that our customers are doing. Our average customer sees a 78% reduction in their workload and this happens through automating the following different tasks, onboarding and offboarding of users, mid lifecycle access request and resets, access reviews, file and data protection, and application discovery. By automating these different tasks, our customers see a drastic reduction in the time that they would typically invest here and the air rate that would accompany their manual efforts. In turn, their business sees increases in efficiency, reduction in risk, increased productivity, and reduced spend. I am going to walk you through examples from each of these different areas. Let's dive in. Start with offboarding. You can see I've navigated to the workflows section of the Better Cloud product. Workflows are where we would build out these automations and they carry a very simple logic. When, if, then, when a given event happens inside of a SaaS application, if these conditions are true, then carry out and sequence the following steps. In this particular case, the win condition is HR setting the user inactive inside of the HRS tooling. Opening steps, we're gonna go ahead and create a ticket inside the ITSM, then lock out their device using the device management tool. Now, basic deprovision across your entire SaaS suite. You can see here within Google, resetting passwords, deleting verification codes, changing IMAP and POP settings, managing the delegation or transferring of emails, ownership of groups, primary calendar events, files, etc. And now after Google, we're doing these same deprovisionings across Slack, Salesforce, or whatever different tools you would have tied into Better Club. Steps 23 and 24, we're doing a basic hold period for 30, 60, 90 days before we ultimately ask for approval to go ahead and delete all of the different accounts across their SaaS tools. And finally, in 28, closing out the ticket. And what this gives IT is a completely zero touch, hands off offboarding sequence in which they don't have to invest the typical two hours that we see our customers are putting into offboarding. But in turn, they avoid any errors that would leave licenses unreclaimed or users over provisioned. And this has a drastic impact on reducing the overall risk and spend that the organization endures. Next, let's talk about mid lifecycle user access requests and resets. Here I'm back in the workflow section and I have another sample workflow. This one is for an app request from a user. You can see the win condition is when they see, when we see inside of the ITSM, an application request submitted by this user, the if is looking at what that application was. In this case, we'll stay at Zoom. The opening piece, BetterCloud is going to go out and grab all the details from that ticket. Second, we're going to send out some approval messaging to their manager, whoever speaks for Zoom provisioning. Once they sign off on that in step three here, we're gonna go ahead and create the user. Four, send them a message on Slack, letting them know that they have their access. And finally, in the fifth step, we'll update or close out that ticket. In this instance, again, we have an application request from a user being done in a zero touch fashion. So no effort put in or time invested from an IT perspective, but perhaps more importantly, is we see that typically users are waiting one to two hours, if not more, for requests like this to get through the ticketing queue. In this scenario, it's happening in an automated fashion, so they access almost immediately and really is going to help increase their productivity as well. Let's talk about user access reviews. I'm now in the alert section of the Better Cloud product. Here you can set up alerting to notify you of different events that occur inside of your SaaS tools. I've set up this Salesforce alert to notify me when a user is inactive for greater than 90 days within that platform. And I want to trigger this every time this occurs. By default, I get dropped into the platform, but I could also get an email, an SMS, etc. Once I click publish, this is going to run on autopilot and surface all of those different users that meet that criterion. But I can also use this as the opening point of a workflow. And so now, every time someone doesn't log in for 90 days, I'm going to automatically create a ticket inside of my ITSM. I'm going to reach out to whoever governs access to Salesforce, notifying that this person hasn't used it. And if they approve, I will deactivate this user and reclaim that account and finally close out the incident. 
What this does is becomes a user access review that's run on complete autopilot, no time investment from an IT perspective that is going to reclaim licenses and thus reduce spend, but also reduce over provisioning and reduce risk as well. All right, let's talk about file and sensitive data protection use cases. I'm back in the alerts section here, and now we're actually going to set up an alert that notifies us every time a user has a Google document that's shared publicly, and that document contains some degree of sensitive data. I've specified social security number here, but you can specify anything that you would deem sensitive within your environment. I want to trigger this alert every time it occurs. Once I click publish, again, this runs on autopilot and surface all of these different violating files. But this can also be used to start an automatic remediation workflow. So now every time a file is shared public with those sensitive data that I have identified, we're going to create a ticket noting the event. We're going to automatically change the file sharing settings, pull them back to internal, remove any external collaborators, change the download and print and copy permissions and revoke all those. And then finally just send the user a quick note, letting them know that they've exposed a file publicly and give them some sort of degree of education around why this has been pulled back. Step six, we close out this incident. So you would set up these alerts and these remediation workflows. They would run again, completely autopilot in the background. So no time invested for manual or ad hoc reviews from an IT perspective. And it's going to drastically reduce the actual exposures that happen from a sensitive data perspective within your environment and reduce the overall risk to the organization. And our final use case application discovery. So I've now navigated over to the applications grid within Better Cloud. And what this is going to surface is all of the different applications that your users have OAuth into or SSO'd into. You'll get a full rundown of everything in your environment, including the application name, its category, the user count, and then granular level user details. If you click in here, how it was discovered, the discovery date. And then if it was discovered via OAuth, you'll get a permissions or a scope delivered to you as well. What this allows you to do is start to audit all of the different applications in your environment and label them sanctioned or unsanctioned. After that, anything can be started or triggered with a workflow based on those details. Here we have when a new application is discovered and that application is unsanctioned, we're gonna automatically revoke or pull back that access, send that user a notification here in step two, drop a message into the security channel, letting the team know what happened, and then perhaps create a ticket around it. And so what this offers is shadow IT remediation on autopilot. So no time investment from an IT perspective, but perhaps more importantly, is you're going to automatically reduce the application exposure within your environment, henceforth reducing your risk and reducing your spend on applications. That concludes my overview of the Better Cloud platform. If any of the use cases that I demonstrated for you today were of interest and you'd like to see more, we have deeper dives into each of these across our YouTube channel. But you can also jump on over to bettercloud.com, request a demo, and myself or someone from our team will walk you through and tailor a demonstration to your specific circumstance or situation. Thanks so much for your time today and look forward to helping you eliminate up to 78% of your SaaS management workload.